Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in blue. We've got two learning objectives that we're trying to get through today. First one is we're trying to identify nodes and edges of a network. We'll run through what that means. And after that, we're going to determine if a node is an odd or an even node. So let's start off with identifying nodes or edges. And throughout this video, we're going to use this diagram here as an example to help us illustrate what all those points are. So the first thing we need to be aware of, what exactly is a node? And you'll hear this word come up heaps and heaps and heaps across our networks topic. And a node is one of those dots, those points that you can see in the diagram, and they're connected by lines. So in our case, let's think about it. Let's call them connection points. And they are connected by different edges. So connected by different edges. And that's the second word we need to be aware of, what exactly is an edge. So edges. So before we define what an edge is, so just to recap, in our example, A, B, C, D, and E, all of those would be nodes in our diagram. So in our case, it is A, B, C, D, and E. So the next thing we need to think about, because our definition of a node included the word edge, we need, do need to be aware of what edges actually are. So what are edges? And edges are those lines, and I've got an example there. So there's B, line A to B. So the edges are those lines that connect those two points. So they are the lines that connect different nodes. So connect different nodes. So you'll see our definition is quite circular. The node definition includes edges, and the edges definition includes nodes. Um, but just to highlight it again, so B to C, that line is the edge. But B and C itself are nodes because that's where the edges connect to each other so that wraps up the first part hopefully you understand what a node and an edge is um, how many edges do we have in our diagram and unfortunately people are really bad at making this little counting error so it's something i don't want you to do my strategy is i go one two three four five six seven and eight. So with that circling approach, I know for sure I'm not going to miss any in this case. So in our case, we've got eight edges in this instance. And I do want to note, there's always some confusion about that edge number five. So it starts at D and goes to D. Um, it is still considered an edge, even though it starts and finishes at the same node. That's 100% okay. Now that we know what a node and an edge is, we're going to look at determining if a node is an odd or an even node. So odd or even nodes, um, we'll drop this down. So odd or even nodes, they depend on how many exits there are from a particular node. So it relates to the number of exits from a particular node. And this is going to get a bit annoying. The number of exits that we have, so the number that we mentioned above, it will either be an odd number or an even number. If you have an odd number, that node is therefore going to be an odd node. That's because there is an odd number of ways you could leave that node. And below, if there's an even number, we're going to call that an even node. And that's because there is an even amount of ways to leave that particular node. Later on, this idea of odd and even node is actually a really, really, really important idea. It gives us a bit of information as to how we can navigate through our network um, in the most optimal solution or the most optimal way. So let's have a look at our diagram. So if you have a look at option or node A, so let's look at node A to start off with. Um, I can see I can leave this way over here, I can leave towards E, or I could curve around towards B. That means there are three exits, 
which makes us an odd node. And I just want to clarify, pathway number one, pathway number two over here, whilst they're both work, walking towards B, it does not make a difference. We could leave through either of those paths, and that's all good. So that's an odd node. Uh, so let's write that on our diagram. There's an odd one. So let's now have a look at um, maybe node D, which is the next one. And I could leave towards E. I could leave towards C. I could move up this way, and I would circle back to D, or I could have gone the other way around around that path. So this case around, for D, I've got four exits, which makes that an even node. And if we did the same for the rest of them, we won't do them, but B here, um, so sorry, D was even, B, um, we've got one way out to C, down that way, down that way, so that's three, which makes that an even node. C over here, we can go out this way, we can go towards D, we can go down, that's three, so that's, oh, I've written even before, that's actually odd. And then we've got another odd node for C, and then finally E, we could go up towards D, we could go up towards C, or back across that to A. That's three, that's also going to be an odd node. So that's a quick recap um, of today's two learning objectives. We hopefully can identify what a node or an edge is. And the most important bit from today's one, hopefully you can determine if a node is an even node or an odd node. So thanks so much for watching. Now let's get into heaps of practice.